My dear viewers, thank you for 750 subscribers. This video is for you. Have you ever asked yourself if it is possible to create your own Asian dolls? Let me know in the comments if you like Asian dolls or if you have any Asian doll or if you have more than one. I'm BCB from Germany and welcome to my channel. I started almost 25 years ago with collecting Barbie, being a Barbie dog for almost 10 years. This channel is more than just your one-stop Barbie repair workshop. This stall is definitely a job for the Barbie repair cafe. I want to help all of you out there with the problem where to start in such a project. Don't throw your dolls away when somebody tried to repaint it. Don't give them up. Don't produce waste when you don't have to by just imagining a way to repaint them. So a little background on this doll. This doll was donated to me by D from fashiondolls.de somebody tried to repaint her but the repaint was obviously no success let's try to do this one without any makeup under the new makeup like i did in one of my other videos which i'm going to link you above i've already seen my preparation for this doll i used acetone containing nail polish remover to get rid of the rest of all the makeup you could see here in the beginning. The lips had some rests of makeup in the corners that were really hard to remove so I did my best. I draw a line with my 8B pencil for the outline of the iris then I did all the white. The white of the eye is in my opinion the easiest part to paint because you have just to use plain white and draw the outline of the eye. Again I used here my wet palette to keep the paint in ready to paint condition. I explained it in the Barbie transformation video with the Spanish dots which I'm also going to link you above and there I explained how it works. After having painted the white of the eye I started with the brown of the iris. I used a light brown at first and then I used several layers because one layer was not dark enough. So I used several layers of this light brown and then I changed to a darker brown to create a more natural look because the iris is seldom in one color, has mostly several shades of brown, blue or green. That's what I try to imitate here with different shades of brown. Until here it was no problem. The black outline was on her left eye perfect with the first brush strokes. No problem. The right one, however, was not so cooperative. Somehow my paint did not come off the brush like I did it on the left. My brush strokes were on the right eye too long. Asian eyes are only working when you don't do the guidelines too long as to say so. That's what I definitely learned during this repaint. I needed several times to adapt the right eye to the left one. The process how to will fill in a another shot. It's not very time consuming but you have to concentrate when you're doing this. Removing the excess black acrylic paint is possible with our friend the rubbing alg. As long as nothing is sealed you can get all the paint off again. Black is a very strong color and it, it's sometimes a little bit resistant but it's possible to remove black again. Like mentioned before, I needed several tries to, to make two equal looking eyes. I tried to improve my painting here a little bit, used some white and black to make them really look e in an equal way. The not too long brush strokes of black for the eyes are the I think most important factor for Asian eyes. 
because when you do them too long, they don't look Asian anymore. I mentioned before, when you don't like it, you can always remove the step you just did with a little bit of rubbing arc and then it's no problem to get one step back. To make the iris look a little bit more natural, I used several of my watercolor pencils, different shades of white and grays to give her iris a more natural look. You know, you have seldom only one color in your eyes and to make them really a little bit more natural, I tried to put in some white and some gray but to be honest this did not turn out in the first way like I wanted it to because somehow my pencil was not sharp enough to get a very thin line so I tried to do this with my brush in the second way but this was also not satisfying so I used some acrylic white to paint some lines in her iris to get a more natural look and then I used my brown again and painted over the white really to get different shades in her eye to make it really natural. So in the end I used a mixture out of acrylic paint and watercolor pencils to get the iris look more natural. And then I started to do the white of the lips because I wanted to seal it after painting the white of the lips because then it's no problem you can seal it with Mr. Super Clear and then you don't have to worry about the lip color when you paint over the white because you can't mess up with the white when you use a pink tone. The white of the lips is easy to do. After sealing the paint until this point, I started to outline some of my eyebrow points. I use this point as a reference for making the eyebrow painting easier just to follow my dots here. It's also an 8B pencil that I use here. I have not found a better method to paint the eyebrows yet. I paint a thin stroke at first and then I make this thin line bigger and bigger and hope it helps anyone to know how to do this. When you have a better idea to paint the eyebrows let me know in the comments. I think the hardest thing to do is to paint equal eyebrows. That's why I remove them here and do them again several times. I'm literally never satisfied with my own work. Next thing I do is to paint the lips in a pink shade. So when you are a little bit familiar with paints then you can probably see that it was used for vintage Barbies too. I did not want to paint very thick lips because I think that's not fitting for an Asian doll here. And also the Teresa head mold limited my ideas here a little bit because she has a open mouth face and big eyes. I think a big smile does not fit to this doll when you make an Asian doll out of her. So that's why I kept the lips very thin. Like mentioned before, I was not satisfied with my eyebrows, so I started to paint again and again and again. I think eyebrows are the hardest 
thing to do especially when you want two ones that are equal the curves are really hard to draw in an equal way so you mostly have two different ones but you see those only when you have done it and not when you are painting it and that's why i do it again and again and again here so you know i'm seldom really satisfied with my work and that's why i have never shown my repainting actions before maybe it's a good time to talk about what i have learned from this repaint until now like i already presumed in my last video repainting without any makeup starting from zero is much easier than if you have any makeup under the repaint you have nothing that crumbles away you have nothing in your fresh paint that make look it ugly or unsmooth so until here i was relatively satisfied with my work after doing the eyebrows again and again but the worst thing i did in this repaint are the eyelashes that i just do the color did not come off the brush like i wanted it to and it somehow looked very messy my pencils were not sharp enough to draw a clean line and in the end i ended up with doing some acrylic lashes that i don't really like i have not seared them so i can remove them again and do them better when i have a better idea how to question of the day is have you ever repainted an asian doll let me know in the comments below thanks for watching my little video i hope you share like and subscribe see you in the next weeks you're busy from germany bye